Another temporary stay at home order is now in effect for San Diego State students. The school is trying to keep students from spreading the virus with more than 1200 cases on campus since the semester began. Our Jacqueline Sarkeesian is live at SDSU and Jacqueline, there's a reason this order comes with Halloween a week away. Yeah, Jason, the moves intentional according to the university. They know that students will be wanting to go out and celebrate Halloween, especially since it's on a weekend this year. But now with this new stay at home order, of course, it will make it much more difficult for students to do so. That new order went into effect last night, and we did speak with a bunch of students here on campus for a good portion of the day, talking with them about this new stay at home order and trying to get a feel if they actually plan on following it. As if campus wasn't quiet already, it's about to get much quieter. There's just nothing on campus, so everyone's leaving right now, including me, I'm leaving. For the second time since the start of the fall semester, San Diego State is asking students to stay at home for the next nine days. Freshman Cassidy Wynn says the order isn't really going to affect her as she's moving out of her dorm. I would just rather be with family right now. There's nothing left here, really. It's a ghost town. The order pertains to students living on and off campus. They can only leave their residences with the exception of essential needs like getting food or medical care, voting, or for academic activities and classes. I actually work right here in the student union. Another justifiable reason is going to work, which has this fifth year student worried about the safety of her job if cases continue to go up. If they do end up sending everybody back home at some point, like maybe into next semester, it definitely would affect my job. We'd have to close down again. Celeste Rodriguez says it's a pretty hard ask requiring students to stay at home with Halloween being next weekend. They start partying like well into this weekend and then the weekend like leading up to Halloween as well. Yeah, so. It, it, I don't think it'll be as effective as they want it to be, unfortunately. Since August 24th, a little more than 1,200 students have COVID-19. The university is clarifying the order is not due to a rise in cases, but issued ahead of Halloween. Of the 419 on-campus cases reported since the start of the fall semester, nearly 100% have recovered. And Jason, this most recent stay at home order expires on Monday, November 2nd. Reporting live from the college area, Jacqueline Sarkeesian, Fox 5 News.